I always have my sketchbook with me and in my sketchbook I mainly make drawings of the landscape, make drawings of flowers, things from nature and those marks start to come up in the larger works, more abstracted. It's important for me to like exercise making the same kind of marks in many different materials because it's always evolving and changing and I guess with like the slower processes it's really like taking time to meditate on what I'm observing and it also becomes its own thing eventually. I'm Agnes Waruburu and uh, I'm trained in painting and I think uh, fabric was sort of an easy next step away from canvas because uh, at some point I realized I wasn't that interested in painting on canvas and maybe I was more interested in figuring out how to make paintings in multiple different ways. Uh, and I leaned towards fabrics because at the time I was living in the States and I wanted to communicate something about my home and my personal life and fabric was a very direct way for me to communicate my culture. As I started investigating the lesso and talking about that um, because I felt a really strong connection with that because it was always in my home and it was a very clear way for me to send a message also because of the structure of the lesso itself. From there, I just started using different types of cotton and collecting things from my house like pillowcases, bed sheets, sort of when I can't use them anymore for functional purposes. I want to repurpose things and use them to make work. Um, I was living in Swaziland for two years before I moved to the States for university. Um, I did one year in California, but I had very severe culture shock and I got into like a bit of a depression. So I left, um, although the school was really good and I feel that going to CalArts for the year where there was really no practical classes, it was only conceptual classes, really opened up my mind to what an artwork can be and what actual art making can be, like how diverse your practice can be because I was exposed to so many artists that I had, I had never known about before. I moved, transferred schools and I moved to Georgia um, and it was much better because there was a bit more diversity. The school was bigger, so there were people from everywhere. And you kind of felt like you could build a bit of a community because that's something that's really lacking in American culture. <laughs> it's very like individual culture. Um, but being in the States and having like a formal education in the arts really helped me think about how I want to structure making my work. I really liked the formal structure of like going to class every day, reading a bunch, responding, writing essays, and then making work, um, trying to investigate also what you're going through and figuring out how to talk about it through your work. The exhibition actually uh, started off because I had this, this series of mono prints. Um, and I think it was, it felt like an obvious choice to use these nettings to make mono prints because I was really not trying to alter the netting but to catch the essence of it. Last year I was lucky to do the Saba Artist Residency in Lamu, which is an island in Kenya. I think being on residency is really important for any kind of artist because it's really easy to sort of get caught up in what everyone in your immediate art scene is doing and I think removing yourself from that and having time where you're not thinking about anything except what you want your practice to be and even having the chance to make an isolated body of work that can be different from what you usually make in your studio. I think it's really important because you kind of need something to refresh you. Before I left for Lamu, I was concentrating a lot on the grocery bags that I was collecting. So my head was really filled with that netting and that mesh. And it's something I really started to notice when I was in Lamu because there's a lot of construction happening at the moment. And I also really wondered why there was so much construction. Most people do use like local materials, but there's some things that you have to bring in because you just don't have access to them on the island. So when they're starting to bring in all these external materials, it's starting to affect the environment. And I was really picking up trash as I'm walking because I'm like, I need to do something about all this plastic. And I guess as I was going along, I started finding these construction nettings that they used to like sieve the sand. And then as I paid more attention, I noticed like the nettings are different. Um, and so I decided to just collect them and I 
made mono prints out of them because there's a printing press on Lamu Island itself, which I really wanted to take advantage of having that resource. With Amu Courtyard, uh, I remember this was like the first piece I made during my residency in Lamu. Um, and I had gone there with like the intention of carrying on the work that I was doing in my studio, but I didn't, I just uh, felt I needed to do something different. Um, so I had this fabric and I painted it in the courtyard of where, where the residency was um, situated. Uh, and it was literally an afternoon of just making this work. It was very quick, very in response to the place that I was in. Um, so even the colors, um, the way that the ink is spread and, and using like some grass from the courtyard to like make marks. So it's really like of that place and like very quick, instinctive, um, not second guessing yourself, just making the work and enjoying it. I think because of how the island is set up, the work is very colorful, um, which I do love color, but I find that I'm usually more muted and I find the works that I did in Lamu are much more bold, uh, very strong lines. Um, and I think it's because of the light and the colors of the island itself. Going to Stellenbosch, it was a huge opportunity and it was really important that I got to do that because I don't think I would have been able to meet so many African artists at once. It was, that space was really unique and amazing um, because of that, like being able to relate to people who are dealing with similar themes as you are because you're coming from a similar background and also talking to people who have been working on the continent and have successful careers like even just getting advice of like, how did you get here? What, what opportunities are you applying for? People were very, very generous. This is gonna be my first solo show. Uh, it's very exciting because it's something that I've been thinking about, I guess, for the past few years. It is quite nerve wracking to, to have all this work that you've had and you've kept, you know, and you've, you've thought about for so long and then having it out there in the world. I think it's really an amazing opportunity to be able to share the things that you care about and to share what's in your mind with other people. So I'm really excited to hear what other people have to say about the exhibition. I think also because people really have interesting perspectives and always bring out more than I could bring out in the work. Um, so it's really exciting to be able to have a full show, have a full thought and share it with other people.